Hi, this is Chris and welcome to my channel. I fly a 1975 Beechcraft B60 Duke. I bought the plane about five years ago and I absolutely love it. It's a great airplane to fly and uh, thought I'd take you on some of my adventures. So here's the latest, hop in and uh, let's go for a ride. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the channel. Today, uh, keeping with the theme, all things Duke, uh, just wanted to show you how I changed the oil in my uh, 1975 Duke TIO 541 E1C4. So, I'll cobble this all together and uh, put together a video to try to show you the best I can um, everything that uh, goes on. It's pretty simple, it's not a lot to it. Um, I use a piece of rain gutter actually which helps me out quite a bit so I don't have to pull the uh, cow flap completely off so I'll show you how I use that I am going to pull the cow flap completely off but for another reason but I'll, I'll show you how I uh, do it before I pull the cow flap completely off and uh, drain the oil so anyway I uh, hope, hope this helps and uh, I'll show you what's going on alright first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop the uh, the right side and um, that's where the oil filter is and you can see down here here's where the cow flap is and there's an actuator that uh, connects the cow flap it's hard to see but I'll show you some light on it um, and that's where the actuator connects right there and we'll disconnect that and we'll lower the cow flap give us some more room to take the plug out Okay, we got the uh, got the door off and down. Um, you can see right here behind the cylinder um, is the oil filter. It's a pretty tight fit in there. Uh, it usually comes out just behind um, once you get it loose. Uh, you push it to the back and then pull it out there. Tight fit. Um, I'm gonna have to cut off the safety wire and unscrew it, but that's where it sits right there. Okay, I got the safety wire cut off and I usually uh, punch a couple holes in the oil filter and let it drain. It makes less of a mess that way. So I got a couple holes punched in it. And uh, now I'm gonna go down, down below and disconnect the cow flap and get everything ready to start draining the oil. I'm gonna need a one inch socket for the uh, oil filter. And I always have that in my other toolbox, but uh, that's the that's the wrench you need to get the get the oil filter loose. Okay, here's what it looks like inside the cow flap um, with the uh, actuator disconnected, and then that's where the drain plug sits right there, and then the filter screen is right in front of it. So I'm gonna cut that safety wire off and. Uh, the drain plug out and get set up to drain the oil so that's what it looks like in here okay safety wires off and now you need a uh, 5 8 socket mm -hmm. to pull the drain plug out I'll do that next okay and here's the setup with the um, bucket and the piece of gutter I use Sorry if it's hard to see. Uh, 
typical day here in South Mississippi. Has no idea what it wants to be. Got the filters off. Um, that's the filter I use. Any other brand uh, doesn't fit. It's a little bit longer, so I always use the Champion because it fits a little better. The 48104-1. And there's the old filter off. And the new filter ready to go on. With all the info on it. And before I put it on, I always use some of this. So Dow Corning 4, it's electrical insulating compound. Makes it a little easier to take off. Um, read it somewhere and been using it on both planes for a long time. So I'll put that on right before I screw it on. Uh, here's what it looks like when the filter is off. Not much of a mess, so looks pretty good. Okay, there's the oil filter that's on, and uh, all I need to do is torque it up to about 18 foot-pounds, and then safety wire it on, and the oil filter will be finished. All right, um, torqued, and the uh, filter is safety wired on. So that part is all done. And uh, we'll let it drain a little longer down below, and then uh, then we'll finish that up. All right, here we are with the cow flap off. Um, oil has changed, and everything's uh, back together. And all I need to do now is uh, put the cow flap back on. And we should be good to go. So that's about it. Um, filter, tighten it, safety wire, drain the oil on the bottom, and then uh, put it back in. So anyway, thought I'd share changing the oil and the right engine of Beach Beechcraft Duke. See you later. All right, there it is, finished. With the cow flap reconnected. And I'll go inside and move that up in a second. And all done.